Welcome back all. Let's start with the next group, the General Health Monitor Project, mentored by Mr. Chetan Jaiswal, Deepthi, Ms. Deepthi Ghosalkar, Mr. Harshwardhan K, Ms. Kirti Amre, Mr. Padmakar Reddy, and Mr. Varun Kaikar, managed by Mr. Rajesh Kushalkar. The major objective of GHM is that it can be used for personal health monitoring without any need of getting a going to a doctor. The team is here, so let's start with the presentation. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sanjana and I'm representing the General Health Monitor Group. Uh, my team members are uh, Poonam, Jagruti, uh, Pura, Purva, Ashish, Diganta and Samir. We would like to thank our mentors and Rajesh sir uh, for providing constant support throughout the course of this project. Here are some quick facts. More than 235 million people suffer from asthma. Uh, more than 40% of the adults above the age of 25 uh, suffer from high blood pressure. And over 30% of the people are anemic. Lastly, more than 600,000 uh, people die annually due to heart diseases. Hence, there's a need to develop a, a health monitoring system which will help in early diagnosis and early treatment of these diseases. Here are some currently uh, available health and fit, uh, fitness devices. The first one is the angel sensor. It monitors heart rate, temperature, and blood oxygen. The next one is the Samsung GeoFit. Uh, it monitors uh, blood glucose, uh, blood pressure, and sleep. And the third one is the Jawbone Up, which uh, measures movement, sleep, and food. So the goal of our project was to develop this health monitoring system which would uh, measure certain uh, vital body parameters uh, and to display this uh, health data on an Android app and store this uh, in the, into the uh, server database for future reference of the doctor and the patient. So our system consists of three parts. The first one is hardware, the second one is the Android app, and the third one is the web app. So when the appropriate tab is clicked on the Android app, the data from the sensors is displayed on the Android app and uh, stored in the local database, uh, the SQLite database. And when the internet connection becomes available, it is pushed onto the server and stored permanently in the server database. And this data can be viewed by the doctor and the patient using the web app. Next, please. Uh, so the vital body parameters we were able to implement in our system were the peak flow, uh, blood pressure, temperature, oxygen saturation level, and uh, ECG. Yes. So the peak flow is the maximum uh, speed of person's expiration. So like I said earlier, more than 235 million people across the world uh, suffer from asthma. And during an asthma attack, the person's windpipe swells up and uh, there's a drop in peak flow. Hence, it's a very important uh, uh, vital body parameter. So the sensor we used was the liquid flow sensor. It consists of a rotor with magnets and a Hall effect sensor. So when the air is blown into this uh, liquid flow sensor, the rotor rotates and the, there's a change in magnetic field. Uh, and this change, uh, due to this change in magnetic field, the Hall effect sensor generates pulses. And the peak flow can be measured by counting the number of pulses generated. The normal range for the peak flow is 400 to 600 liters per minute. Uh, the blood pressure. Blood pressure is the pressure of the blood in the circulatory system. Uh, more than 40% of the people above the age of 25 uh, suffer from hypertension. So uh, again, this is a vital body parameter. The sensor we used was the uh, SunROM Technologies blood pressure sensor. It sends digital values for systolic pressure, diastolic pressure, and heart rate. Next, please. So uh, as we all know, the most common ailment is fever. And uh, a lot of, for a lot of the other diseases, the first symptoms are, uh, is a fever. So uh, it, it's again a vital body parameter. The sensor we used was LM35. So it gives an output voltage uh, which is proportional to the Celsius temperature. The normal uh, body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So the oxygen saturation level. So oxygen saturation level is the concentration of oxygen in the blood. The sensor we used for our uh, purpose was a SpO2 sensor probe. Uh, it is supposed to be worn around the finger, and it emits uh, lights of two different wavelengths. 
the red light and the IR light. And so the and it works on the principle of uh, transmittance. So when uh, the uh, uh, the red light and the IR light are emitted, the transmitted light is absorbed by the photodiode and is converted to current. So the uh, Oxygen saturation level can be calculated as concentration of oxygenated hemoglobin divided by total uh, concentration of hemoglobin in the blood. Next, please. So ECG is the uh, recording of the electrical activity of the heart. Uh, like I said, more than 600,000 people across the world die annually due to heart diseases. The sensor uh, we used for ECG uh, calculation was ECG clamps. Now the signal that we get from ECG clamps uh, is very weak and is um, gets mix mixed up with noise by the time uh, we actually, actually get to measure it. So we need a signal conditioning circuit which will filter and amplify uh, these signals. So as we can see this is the signal we got after filtering and amplifying the ECG signals. So all these uh, sensors were interfaced with a microcontroller. And the microcontroller we used was STM32F303. Uh, it is a high performance microcontroller that operates at the uh, frequency of 72 megahertz. So sensors were interfaced with a microcontroller. Now microcontroller is interfaced with uh, an Android app. And now Purva will talk more about the Android app. Thank you, Sanjana. I'll be explaining the Android part. We have developed uh, an Android app uh, called as Droid. So uh, we have used Android because it is most widely used operating system and it is open source. We have used SQLite for saving the data. It is because it is easy to access it, it is fast and it is simple. Next please. If the user has uh, registered himself, he can directly use the login. And if he has not registered, he has two ways. If net is available, he can register himself and then log in, or else we have a guest login. In guest login, the data won't be saved, it would just be displayed. So uh, here is the login screen in which he can enter his user ID, password and login. Once uh, the user clicks on the tab, such as temperature tab, the sensors will send the data and it will be displayed on the Android app. So the value will be displayed at the center, it will be surrounded by a circle which indicates uh, his status like normal, caution or emergency. The green circle indicates it is normal and it is also displayed at below. The eye uh, signifies like when you click on it you get a pop-up in which all the reference ranges are given. We have a blood pressure tab in which the systolic, diastolic and the pulse rate are shown. Uh, along with this also we have status and the reference ranges. This is for peak flow. In peak flow we have a button called as start and stop. Once you start, you can blow in and all the values will be recorded. The highest value will be uh, chosen as the peak flow and it will be saved in the SQLite. So uh, this is for pulse oxy. Here you'll see the ring has become orange because the value is in the, ca is in the caution range. Here also you, we have the reference range and all. This is for ECG. In ECG, we are showing the live data uh, using a graph along with the status. Along with ECG, we also show the heart rate of the person. Next, For the registered user, we have a special tab called as profile tab in which we show all his details. Uh, the, if internet is available, the person can also edit his profile and uh, save it. Next, There is a button called as messages. If net is available, once the user clicks on the message button, all the messages sent by the doctor will be displayed here. The person can also change his password using the Android app. Next please. We have the help button in which uh, all the details are given like how to use this app and we have a logout button uh, in order to come out. Uh, after this, Samir will explain the web application. Thank you Purva. I will be explaining about the uh, user interface of the web application. Next. In the web application there are three types of user. First is admin. Second is doctor, third is patient. Next, uh, coming to admin, uh, this is the welcome screen for admin. Here he can see the profile, see his profile information. Here he can also edit his profile, change his password. And uh, at the top we can see different tabs that are for different features. Uh, when he will click on doctor, 
tab a search box will appear he can search that particular doctor according to his first name last name uh, city or state a list of matching searches uh, will appear and he can uh, click on that part uh, any particular patient uh, and the profile information will be visible he can see the profile information similar action can be done for searching a doctor also by clicking on doctor tab uh, when he will click on request tab uh, all the request uh, from the doctor will be shown these requests are generated when the doctor is registering himself on the system he can click on that request and see the profile of the that doctor and he can accept or reject uh, that particular doctor coming to doctor uh, this is the welcome screen for doctor uh, all the profile information is shown here he can edit his profile and change his password next when he will click on patient tab uh, all the patient that are under his supervision is will be listed here he can pick any one of the patient and the profile information of that patient will come here and uh, there are several several options re related to that particular patient uh, that is shown on the left side next when he will choose view health uh, option uh, this screen will appear this screen is showing all the health parameters um, of that particular patient initially we are giving data for last month but using that date picker he can give uh, he can give any date and go back and see the data so, uh, suppose uh, a particular date is having more than one session suppose the patient has taken more than one value in a, that particular date he can pick uh, click on that particular point and can see all the data of that particular day next uh, this is the graph for body temperature this is for peak flow next this is for pulse oxy and this is for electrocardiogram next we have incorporated additional features such as uh, doctor can send messages to the doctor about his health precaution and prescription he can also refer that particular patient to another doctor by uh, choosing refer doctor option next uh, when he will click on the request tab all the request from the patient will be seen here he can view all the uh, profile information and can accept or reject that particular patient he can also refer that particular patient without accepting the request to the uh, different doctor next now coming to patient uh, this is the welcome screen for patient uh, all the profile information will be shown here next when he will click on view health tab uh, he can also see his health parameters in a similar way that a doctor can see next when he will click on doctors um, all the doctor data supervising him will be shown here he can also add a new doctor uh, from this search tab uh, and can add a new doctor uh, next these are the messages from the doctor have you implemented patient software different from doctor software yeah why the patient is not implemented as a doctor with a single patient himself so that i don't have to recode whole bunch of software so there are different um, features for doctor and patient so we have That's used okay. different That's modules okay. what feature for doctor is different from patient ha huh, so he Correct. can ha huh. so can why can't the patient any individual be his own patient so we can see his thing na why have to write different software well, only both of them are seeing only data except that doctor has got a full list this fellow has got only one that uh, that is written in a similar way uh, but the view is different that is coming in patient why are you not using the same code somebody talked to me about reusability and i told him my software is always we, reusable we no, have same software. same software same software yes no, no, no it's not same software it's very difficult to write a software where a person is his own doctor that you are not written please ha ha that ah, we have not correct. if the doctor wants to see uh, yeah, monitor his okay go ahead okay. telling you how to think okay when he will click on message tab all the message from the doctor will come here and the system generated message such as uh, doctor has accepted your request or doctor has removed you will also be here now diganta will tell about challenges 
Thank you, Samir. Uh, the challenges that we face in this project. First challenge we face on interfacing the Android device with the STM32. We had two options, USB and Bluetooth, but we chose Bluetooth because we intend to make this sensor into a wearable device. It's for ease of access and use. Next, we had uh, this uh, me measuring EC uh, ECG and pulse oxy signals. As you all know, these signals are very faint signals in the body. It was difficult to extract the signal, and you know re uh, we had lots of noise also because we were implementing this uh, this um, these signals, uh, sorry, this circuit in breadboard. So it was difficult to extract signal and get accurate results. Uh, next, please. Uh, what did we learn? First of all, being a part of Integrated Development Lab group, we learned about hardware and software, implementing those two in the same project. So in the hardware part, we learned about the new microcontroller, STM32, programming it and interfacing with the sensors. And in the software part, we learned about communication between the server and the application that we developed, web application and application. Next, please. Then, uh, future scope, we are thinking about making this uh, integrated sensors into one wearable device. And we can add more health parameters like blood glucose levels, uh, cholesterol levels, and uh, uh, tracking the sleep pattern. Also, we can add more features in the Android app. Like presently, we have just displayed the status. We can also add health tips according to the status. Like suppose in the emergency, what you can do, and if it's caution, what you can do. And also, since we are logging the data, we can analyze the data and predict the what disease it can have. He, he might tend to. Uh, uh, next please. In conclusion, I'd like to say that uh, we have successfully implemented blood pressure, peak flow and body temperature. ECG and pulse oxy needs more, uh, more working because we need to use implement it in the PCB. Uh, next please, these are the references and next please, next, uh, let's move to demo video or live demo. This is the demo for GHM, General Health Monitoring System. This is Android UI. This is UI for web application. This is the web. Now, we will log in. Our connection is 